Hi. Today we're doing part three, neurotransmitters and their functions. We're going to talk about six major neurotransmitters that we need to know about their function and then what happens if they don't work right. Um, and you've heard of probably some of the things that happen if they don't work correctly. So we'll jump right in. And we'll start with acetylcholine. Um, acetylcholine, uh, the function is it enables muscle action, learning, and memory. So it's involved in all these things. So if you have an under or oversupply of acetylcholine, it can affect your memory, your learning, and then your muscle action as well. So these are three things that it, it helps deal with. An example of a malfunction, um, when you have Alzheimer's, your, um, the neurons that produce the acetylcholine, which is sometimes referred to as A, capital C, lowercase h, acetylcholine for a abbreviation, they go down. The neurotransmitters that make this go down, and so you start producing less of these, which is why your memory starts to go uh, down as, as you get more advanced in your Alzheimer's. So your neuro, the neurotransmitters or the neurons that produce the acetylcholine start to deteriorate. Um, dopamine is the next one that we're going to talk about. Um, dopamine, the function would be, um, let's see, get my pen back up here, movement. It helps with our movement, learning, attention, and emotion. So dopamine is a big one, right? It, it hits a lot of different things. It helps with our attention, our emotion, our learning, and then how we actually move. Um, if you have too much dopamine, that can lead to schizophrenia. Schizophrenia and too little dopamine, so that's too much, too little dopamine can lead to Parkinson's disease, right? In Parkinson's disease, you have decreased movement. That's this one right here for Parkinson's, right? You see that big time in schizophrenia, right? That's your emotions, your attention, uh, get kind of out of whack, right? Schizophrenia is we'll learn in the abnormal unit. Uh, it is a break from reality. Oftentimes it's confused with uh, multiple personality disorder, but that's not it. It's just a break from reality. A lot of different types of and degrees of schizophrenia. So uh, dopamine is a big time one, right? Uh, serotonin is our next neurotransmitter. And serotonin affects your mood, hunger, sleep, and just your general level of arousal, how uh, aroused you are in general. Um, if you have too little serotonin, again, this can lead to depression. This is a big one that we need to see is connected with the with depression. Serotonin and depression are big. Um, there's these things called SSRIs, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor. And so, uh, last part we talked about when the terminal branches they release the neurotransmitters over the synaptic gap so you've got this you know this neurotransmitter and here's the receptor site right and this is called the synapse in here at this space um, when it releases the little serotonin molecules um, after it releases some of them right it reabsorbs some of them back up well, what uh, selective serotonin reuptake inhibitor does is it, it stops them from reabsorbing the serotonin so that there's more serotonin around in this area to be absorbed later by this, right? Because if it sucks it back up, then these guys won't be able to absorb it. So they're, the, the purpose is to leave more of these out here so these guys can keep sucking stuff back in rather than getting pulled right back in there. And that, uh, in, in a lot of drugs, or, or certain drugs, tries to help decrease the depression. Moving on to norepinephrine. Um, norepinephrine helps co control your alertness. And it also uh, affects your arousal. 
Um, and if you have an undersupply, too little, and you can be depressed mood. For this class, norepinephrine is not as uh, probably commonly as tested as serotonin and dopamine, which we should really need to know about. But uh, here's another one. Likewise, GABA. It's, it's not a huge one. Um, it's an inhibitory neurotransmitter. Um, so what that means is if you have too little you might get seizures, tremors, insomnia. So it inhibits certain things, right? Seizures means you have too much electrical activity, too much electrical activity. Insomnia, you're not able to um, calm your body down. So it, uh, GABAs inhibit your brain from just continuing to go, right? And if it goes too much or you too much neurotransmitters or electrical impulses are sent out, right? That can lead to all these things, um, right? And so that's actually be down there in examples. And then finally, our last one will be glutamate. Um, glutamate, a function is, is an excitatory neuron, or neurotransmitter rather. Um, it's involved in your memory. So as opposed to GABA, this one excites things. Uh, GABAs inhibit and oversupply, right? Because this is a this is an exciter. So oversupply can overstimulate brain. Overstim brain, and that can also lead to seizures. So. Uh, you may have heard of MSGs before, and you'll see like signs at like I usually you see, I know you see a big one at um, Panda Express. It'll say no, no MSGs. That's what I always remember seeing it. Um, MSGs uh, are stands for monosodium glutamate, monosodium glutamate right here, glutamate right. And so there's some people and there's some studies and a little bit of research to say that uh, you know if you have that in your food that it's going to uh, can lead to these seizures, etc. There's also studies that show that you're not getting enough of it in your food anyways that it's going to affect you, but you, know, you be the judge on that. So uh, we have glutamate, which is a an um, excitatory neurotransmitter, right? Too much of it and you get seizure. You got GABAs, which is inhibitory. Too little of it, you can have seizures, tremors, uh, insomnia. You got norepinephrine, which can be, lead to a depressed mood if you don't have enough. Serotonin is a big one. We really need to know about serotonin. This is the one that's um, uh, linked with depression, right? And we have the SSRIs, the selectively serotonin uptake, reuptake inhibitors. And then you've got dopamine, which is which is connected with schizophrenia. If you have too much dopamine. And finally, acetylcholine uh, and Alzheimer's. So those are the six major neurotransmitters that you need to know. Uh, their function, and then what happens if there happens to be a malfunction. So uh, we'll catch you in part four.